So we've seen How to Have Sex at the New Zealand International Film Festival. It's directed by Molly Manning-Walker, and she actually came over to New Zealand and we had a little Q&A with her, or more like someone just asked her questions and we just listened. Okay. <laughs> Never was open we to the We were audience. in the front row, though. We were in the front row, <laughs> yes. Um, so it's pretty much about a story about three British teenager girls who pretty much go off on, I think, vacation and it's just a bender. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. But, yeah, James, what, what are your thoughts on this film? Uh, I have mixed thoughts on this movie. It's the message of the movie is something that I like and in a way I can I can resonate with it. Not to say that um I did it or anything like that. Um, but I have heard stories from um people close to me before similar to that, not exactly the same. So I can understand, you know, the story and kinda that culture that surrounds clubbing and the hookup culture it is quite um it's quite a very realistic take on it and it's it's so realistic that it really puts you into um straight into the middle of what it's like in the middle of this movie you feel exhausted you feel drunk you feel kind of nauseated by the constant beat of whatever song is playing in the background. And it's just kind of, it gets a little bit tiresome in it. And that that's part of the brilliance in it. But it's also the part that I, I, that I didn't like about it. Um, so it, it does really throw you into, into the middle of it. And it puts you into the experience that these girls are going through. But again, the, the experience is not a pleasant one at all. I didn't, enjoy it i felt the music was annoying the constant uh screaming by them all to the point where i couldn't really understand them through quite thick accents um and it was just it was just it came a, a too much at some points as well um granted we saw this after may may december so i was kind of mentally drained from that movie and then coming into this one it was like douche 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 like for like at least 70 percent of the movie so <laughs> it was a lot um some of the characters are are good some of them are bad there's not much of a resolution or conclusion to some of the characters and the relationships that they have and that was kind of a part part of it that I didn't appreciate too much but overall it's like I didn't like the experience of it but I did I, I did understand and know what the story was trying to say. And it's one that I think it's uh, quite powerful and quite relevant to now. And I think it's, it's told in the most um, alcoholic and headache inducing kind of way it can be done. I don't know if that was a good move on uh, Molly's part to showcase like that, but nevertheless, it doesn't um, dull the seriousness and, the uh the issue itself so yeah it's a, it's an interesting movie to really talk about and try to articulate the thoughts on because a lot of it is really just the clubbing scene just really Cutting, dancing yeah. and just you know the same beat in the background what 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 do you think of this because i know you like this one quite a bit yeah i did enjoy it i mean you covered off the main reason why i enjoyed it was because it had like it wasn't just a party movie but it actually had like a message to say mm. within the movie and that me that message was quite powerful yeah um we definitely saw the way that affected a certain character and just how she was at the start of the film to the end of the film yeah and just her it's slowly like chipping away at her and mm -hmm. breaking her you could definitely feel that um mia mckenna bruce who plays tara mm -hmm. um she was fantastic in it um she's the main main girl yeah um, I thought she was fantastic in it, and I hope we get to see her in a lot more roles because I think she has a lot of potential as a young actress and mm -hmm. could be one for the future. Yeah. Um, I did enjoy the music in it, mainly because it's like the sort of music I listen to. Mm -hmm. So I, didn't, I wasn't quite nauseated or over it as much as you were. Yeah. Um, but I do understand. I, I did feel as if it was a bit too much at some times, at mm. some points, because there was at least a decent 15 minutes where it was just constant like partying um they were at a pool party and then they went to like a nightclub and it was just constant without any like sort of dialogue sort of said and yeah it, it's like you go to like a concert and then 
you know, there's that certain part in the concert you kind of like, you, you just kind of die down. Yeah. And you're like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, I liked it at the start. And the music, it's fine selection and it's, um, yeah, it, it is relevant to what is played in clubs these days. But it's just too much for me. And yeah, I myself, I don't like to do that um, for a prolonged period of time. So I got it in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think the most interesting, well, not most interesting, but one of the most compelling character arcs about or character, I don't know what it's called, integration, mm. was between Tara and Badger. Um, yeah. We saw them have a really good dynamic and it eventuated into pretty much nothing, you know. Mm. Um, I think there was a bit of missed opportunity on um, Molly's part. I think yeah. um, that they probably should have gone in that route for somewhat of an end game mm -hmm. um, sort of storyline, but just the fact that he was essentially just a background character sort of made all the work within like the first two acts redundant, you know, yeah. and the fact that he didn't really do anything um, when it sort of clicked in his head, what happened mm -hmm. as well. Um, yeah. Cause it was sort of leading to that moment and never quite reached there. Yeah. I kind of wanted a little bit more from that character, particularly in that those final moments of the movie, it's like yeah. you, you feel like it's kind of building up to him having the confidence to say something or, confront that situation we don't yeah. really see that but i did really love the character yeah. yeah um there's something else i wanted to ask you about this movie oh yeah the friendship between her and um her, her and the other girl oh, I, for, I forgot her name the um blonde one yeah the yeah the one that's like really like out there and um uh, yeah know which one you want trying trying to get with a lot of guys um yeah. i really despise that friend yeah, um, me too. <laughs> and she was a really horrible person to her um unlike unlike the other one but yeah i didn't like that nothing came nothing came between there was no situation that even though it was quite clear that that friend was being quite horrible yeah yeah and uh, she didn't even catch on as to what that friend went through or what Tara went through, you know, mm. um, the other friend caught on instantly and confronted her and was like, what happened? And she like kept pushing Tara to say yeah. what happened. And eventually that happened. And that's probably why that they were the last two in the shots because it showed that they didn't, mm. they weren't as close in the film or throughout yeah. the film as her and the other, um, friend, but it, by the end of it, because of the interaction, yeah. they're going to be so much more closer than the other one because the other one was an asshole to her and didn't, realize what her friend was going through it was pretty it was quite clear though yeah tara tara made it very clear that she she wasn't the same like you said at the start she's not the same at the end of the movie as she was at the start yeah a friend should be able to detect that i just i didn't like that yeah there, there was just no resolution there and i wish that friend got called out for being as pushy and you know annoying about it but nothing came from it i guess part of it you know alludes to the culture of, you know, the, the victim goes really silent. Uh, so it's kind of just important to understand the signs if that happens to someone yeah. that you know. So, yeah, that, I think this that does happen in real life. And I think sometimes friends don't really pay attention if, you know, their other friends aren't the same as usual. So I guess it's important to be mindful of others. Mm -hmm. That might be part of the, the message that Molly's trying to get through here. I think she made it very clear in her Q&A that, this movie is really about the story and the message about what happened. Um, so yeah, I, I think in, in terms of that respect, I think it did a very good job. Yeah. Yeah. Scores. Yeah. Yeah. What's your score for it? Oh, my score for it. I'm going to go a six. A six. Yeah. I'm going to go with 6.5. 6.5. 6.5. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, they'll do us on this review for how to have sex. Um, it's not a guideline on how to have sex, but... Uh, so you didn't learn anything? No, I didn't learn anything, except for how to get drunk visually without consuming any alcohol. So you didn't learn from the message? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we did. We, we, we knew before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you end up seeing how to have sex and you want to discuss it more in depth with us, head over to X and... Uh, like as a deal. Why are you laughing? <laughs> no, it's just it's just the title makes what you say more funnier. Oh, yeah. yeah, like if you want to talk about it. <laughs>
and just the movie title <laughs> combined, it's just it's just funny. Um, Head over to X and give us your thoughts. Formerly Twitter. Formerly Twitter, <laughs> and uh, we can have a discussion on there. Um, if you want to see what other stuff we get up to, head over to moviegains.com and sign up to our newsletter. And that way you can always be kept up to date with our reviews, 4K content, box office analysis, and Oscar predictions and also analysis. And if you want to hear more reviews or even want to listen to our podcast, head over to Spotify or wherever you pod from, search on Let's Be Real, and you can find us easily and listen to us for hours and days and weeks and months and years. <laughs> That'll do us today on our podcast, on this re- review, not podcast. <laughs> we'll catch you guys later. All right, peace. See ya.